Like I'm sitting here and I I hate to continue to say this. I keep going back to how much I am gaining listening to you and how much I I I believe. I thought he was crazy. Yeah. I I thought he was crazy. And and that's and, and, and that's and that's one thing that shocked a lot of people. Right. Because even the people that are interviewing him. Got some sense. Right. So that's what took all of us by surprise. It was like, oh, this nigga got some sense. This nigga actually talked like we ain't never heard him talk before. And when he came and talked, he was he was he was he was talking that talk. And that that just took everybody by surprise. The same way that they are surprised even during this interview. They like, oh, they're actually smart. Like, OK, yeah, I, I didn't I didn't I didn't think he was this person because all I heard was bust this and bust that and you know he got small hands and he 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 don't practice and all this stuff you know what i mean so from the public point of view you thinking kb is something completely different but when he actually talk you're like oh damn i get it that's what i want to sit down in the room with you you think like when he walked in and i like, I think a lot of people will see you walk around the corner and get scared. That's what I wanted them to think. Why would you want... <laughs> as for, when I was 21, I wanted people to fear me. But look... Bro, at, look. Uh, and I pour into children in a way that I know they'll understand it. Most people, when I was uh, poor and in that situation, um, I, I thank God I met Mr. Mosley because uh, everybody else tried to give us something. Uh, and after whatever they gave us ran out, we was back in the same situation looking for somebody else to give us something. Uh, especially when I was 14, 13, 14. Uh, it was a man named Mr. Mosley. He came to me and said, I ain't giving you shit. He said, straight just like that. He said, no one cares that your brothers are in prison. No one cares about your mother. No one cares about anything. He said, what are you going to do about it? And I was looking like, whoa. And so he gave me an option. You can either do this or you can do that. You can be like your brothers. And he gave me a job. And I went and worked every day. And so that's what I do to these young kids. I challenge them. Can't nobody fix your situation but you. you, you you're not going to work for me, are you? That's, that's the only way that you're going to fix my situation. You got to literally do the work for me and come pay my bills. If you're not going to do that for me, teach me how to do what you do. And so that's what I think most people should start doing for other kids. I got one, too. I'll be honest. When you came out of your... Hey, this is a goddamn good ass... Oh, shit, man. This 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 interview about to end already? God damn, man. This shit seemed like it was fast. It, it seemed like it was like 30 minutes. I mean, this interview should have been like three hours or like two parts or something like this. Damn. It's a short ass interview. This 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 uh, should have been longer. They they definitely need to bring KB back on the platform. But this is a good ass interview. I like this. This is this is definitely the uh, best interview that that uh, KB has has had to uh, express himself and to explain his side of the story to a bigger audience or to a bigger platform where everybody can hear him. You know what I mean? So. It's 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 definitely a good look that KB's out here moving and grooving and out here hitting up these different podcasts. So hopefully he will uh, continue uh, moving and grooving on these YouTube streets and hitting up other platforms. And you know what I'm saying? So damn, oh this shit almost over with. God damn, that was fast. I don't know, dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> all that, all that hold on, hold on. What, what, what happened? If you're not gonna do that for me, teach me how to do what you do. And so that's what I think most people should start doing for other kids. I got one too. I'll be honest. When you came out of your, I don't know, dungeon. <laughs> dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I got the, out the goddamn bat cave, huh? Shit, man, that nigga KB was in his bat cave just waiting on the nigga to say something, boy. He was. <laughs> but that nigga was waiting for somebody to say something, guy. Hey, this was a uh, yo. This this was. I don't know if it was like the interview was that good that shit. I didn't even know that this was an hour long. Like I feel like it was going to keep on going and keep on going. Yeah, this 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 definitely needs to happen again. This was definitely probably the best. Definitely is the best interview that uh, KB has done so far. As I said earlier, man, it's 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 good to uh, you know what I mean him reaching other people's platforms so other people can hear him instead of him just talking on his platform where we all know who he is but there's a larger audience out there that still think you know bust this bust that and that and that and this so it's good that uh he definitely hit up the pivot podcast this was a dope ass interview man this was dope oh Oh, shit wrong one Dope ass interview, man. Dope, dope, dope interview. Definitely learned a lot. 
definitely learned a lot and uh i mean we pretty much knew you know most of the stuff that he said but it's just good to you know what i mean like the people that was asking him the questions now they think differently than what they thought before you know what i'm saying so i'm sure what this video is already at a what sheesh god damn H how the fuck can you be a bus and you at 153 hold on let's uh refresh it real quick your small business has a partner god damn yo that shit was just at a hundred and Yo, that shit was just at 153 an hour ago. I just watched the video. I pressed refresh. That motherfucker is at 190. Sheesh! God damn! Hey, if KB's a bus, sign me up, all right? Because I ain't never seen a bus capture 190,000 people in 10 hours. If that nigga's a bus, nigga, sign me up. Nigga, I want to be a bus too, goddamn. Sheesh. That shit crazy. Shit. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, let's see how his video is doing with the with the with the other people. God, yo, look at this, right? So, hey, men lie. Men lie. Women lie, numbers don't. He he already had 10 hours and he already beaten this interview. This is what seven days and he's on shit. Look at this. This interview right here was 11 days ago and he about to stomp that. So yeah, hey, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. So god damn, yeah. This interview is definitely gonna probably hit a milli. This interview is definitely gonna hit a milli. So Hey, KB, man, if you out there, hey, keep on hitting these podcasts. You know what I'm saying? Keep on moving and grooving out here on these YouTube streets. People people definitely want to hear your voice, bro. People definitely want to hear your voice. And the number speaks for itself. 192K in 10 hours? You already beat this dude right here, and he's four days in it, and he just got one, 143. So men lie, women lie, numbers don't, man. So... Salute to KB for an excellent interview and salute to the pod and salute to the pivot podcast. And I like that they ask the hard, tough questions that everybody else wanted to hear and everybody else was probably a little timid to ask. You know what I'm saying? They asked the hard questions. They asked the questions that everybody wanted to know and everybody wanted to hear. And KB, as usual, knocked them motherfuckers out, out the park and hey. Amazing fucking interview. Hold on. Hold on. And, and let me go and put my like on here. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hit that damn like button. Hey, hit that like button. All right. Hit that hit that motherfucking like button, man. Everybody, everybody go to this channel. Hey, I need everybody to go to the channel. Hit that like button so everybody else on YouTube can uh see this video. But definitely amazing podcast. Definitely amazing podcast. KB, you killed it. Definitely hit up more people podcasts because the people want to hear you, bro. The people want to hear you. Men lie, women lie. The numbers don't. Already at 192K in 10 hours. Sheesh. That's crazy right there, man. So dope interview. Learned a lot. But most importantly, more people are going to be introduced to KB. More people are going to understand them and learn more about him that they never even knew of you know what i'm saying like we all know kb but there's a lot of other people out there that hasn't heard him talk hasn't heard him speak so it's good that uh he's out here moving and grooving on these goddamn youtube streets man so that's about it man so salute to everybody appreciate y'all coming through salute to kb salute to the pivot salute to everybody in the chat Definitely amazing interview. Amazing fucking. Th this is this is the best interview that I've seen KB, you know, on other people's podcasts, other people's platforms. So hopefully uh, the Pivot Podcast have a have a part two or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully everything go good, man. So once again, man, salute to KB. Salute to the Pivot Podcast. Make sure y'all go subscribe to the Pivot Podcast. All right. 
hit that goddamn subscribe button and hit that like button and uh hey let's see what the people in the comments are saying <laughs> i want to see what the people in the comments are saying all right let's see uh this dude is more intelligent than more yep exactly it's a shame that kwame was labeled a bus for many years but i think fans can now realize the bus yep yep definitely uh my into the school to poor kids if you don't know the quote uh i'm a black man living in shanghai up in the four o'clock morning but then they hit the podcast uh da, da, da. We were with the bus i can truly say the pivot podcast you're really on another level it seemed like you got a a lot of a lot of good reviews people saying that uh people like the podcast so hey man Fuck them hating ass niggas, bruh. Keep on doing you. Obviously, the people want to hear you. So keep keep doing your thing, man. Damn, that was amazing. Awesome interview. Yeah, definitely. This is official. One of my favorite podcasts. KB speaks for himself. This is this is one of the best interviews. Intellectual, passionate, real, human. This was a perfect. Hey. The people have spoken, man. The people have spoken. So keep on doing your thing, KB. The people want to hear you. And uh, amazing, amazing, amazing damn interview, man. So once again, salute to everybody in the chat. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for today. I'll be back later tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to chill tonight. I'll probably get on some Call of Duty or something. But definitely, man, definitely amazing interview. Y'all go check out the Pivot Podcast. Uh... He's in the chat. Oh shit, for real. Uh, let me see. Well, I, I really wasn't paying attention to uh, people in the chat. But hey, KB, if 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 you in the chat, hey KB, if you in the chat, bro, I know you you don't want to do this, but I'm telling you, bro, you need to do an interview with Vlad TV. That <laughs> that will be epic. All right, you need to do an interview with Vlad TV because you can definitely hold your own. And the best way to expose Vlad would be on his fucking platform. That shit, yo, that shit would go crazy, bro. I'm, I'm telling you. I know you probably don't want to, but you need to do an interview with Vlad. I'm telling you, you can definitely flip the script and judging, definitely judging from your answers on the questions that they asked you. He's going to probably ask the similar things, but he going to talk about Gibb and all that stuff and you can definitely hold your own. So, hey, hey, hey man, hey, do it, bro. Hey, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm telling you, do it, do it. All right, for you to expose him, not only is he gonna ask you questions, you can ask him questions. You know, all the stuff that you said about him, you can say to his face. You can flip the script on that whole ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, I think you should do it, bro. I think you should do it. But salute to KB, man. Definitely, definitely amazing fucking interview. Uh, I'm going to get the hell up out of here. Y'all hit that like button. Salute to y'all. Appreciate y'all. He said, uh, okay, I see you. I'm not going to. He said, <laughs> he said, I'm not going to jail. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you, bro. But, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Well, Mostly Vlad does his interviews like on like TV or something like that. Like Vlad don't be in the same room. That's what I heard. Like normally when he does his interviews, it's like over the computer or, or, or like something like that. Like it's not like a one on one interview. I don't know, but I think you should do it, bro. I think you should do it. But definitely dope interview. Amazing interview. Salute to everybody, man. I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here. Y'all go check out the Pivot Podcast. Y'all already know KB. Go hit the like button. And I'm out of here, y'all. See y'all tomorrow. I'm about out of here, y'all. Peace!